I bet it's super attractive that I'm just sitting here with a brown paper bag in my lap for this whole video, but alas, here we are. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about glowing skin because I know groundbreaking, but um, we're getting into the summertime and I know everyone, like myself, likes to have some glowing skin. So, um, there's going to be a lot of products. Just gonna forewarn you. So get yourself a cup of coffee, maybe a cup of tea, whatever you like to drink, and keep watching for all my tips and tricks to have some beautiful glowing skin. But as per usual, if you like these types of videos, remember to subscribe so that you don't miss my weekly videos uploaded on Fridays now, and you can keep up with all of the action. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tabitha Faith so that you can get daily inspiration on style, beauty, and cultivating your confidence. Okay, so for real this time, let's get into the products. All right, I said let's get into the products, but let's be real, you know that the very key ingredient to having beautiful glowing skin is hydration. So you want to drink that water. So what you need to do is if you are a bad water drinker, why don't you get you some lemon, squirt a little lemon juice in there. Um, make sure you keep a bottle of water around with you. And in fact, if I'm going to be like working in my office all day, I will not actually keep just a regular glass of water. I will keep a water bottle in here because, or like a refillable, reusable water bottle, you know what I'm saying? Because it contains a lot more water and it makes me like revved up and ready to stay hydrated. I'm actually a pretty good water drinker, but if you're not, you need to set reminders. There's actually cool little water bottles now. I'll link one down below for you that light up when you need to take another drink. So if you're a bad water drinker, get you one of those. But the first key ingredient to glowing skin is hydration. There's lots of products in this bag. Okay, so I shoved everything from my bathroom skincare, makeup, uh, vanity, all in this little baggie so that I could bring it into this room for you guys. So we're just gonna reach into the bag of tricks and start with skincare. So uh, before we get to faking the glow with any type of makeup products, we first want to actually get healthy glowing skin, okay? So first up for you, cha-cha-cha. Exfoliation is key, okay? Um, I have so many blog posts written about um, exfoliating your face, but I'll link those down below for you, of course. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it for a minute. So we want beautiful, glowy, fresh skin to be showing through. We need to get all of those dead skin cells off of your face. So exfoliation is key. Now, whether or not you choose to exfoliate daily or like twice a week depends on your skin type, your skin sensitivity, all that jazz. Um, I do have a few recommendations for you as always because it's my job, but if you want to exfoliate daily, I suggest looking into a couple products. Okay. This one, let me adjust my hair with this really full hand. This one is from Silk Naturals. I just discovered this and I love it. It's an 8% AHA toner. If you are unfamiliar with the difference between AHAs, BHAs, all of this logo jargon about exfoliation, don't worry, I've got a blog post for you. I'll link that down below, of course. But this is a lactic acid toner. So I love this. It doesn't um, irritate my skin. Um, it can be used daily. I would not use it in the morning time, even though you do you, you can if you want to. I would use it after cleansing at night, um, directly after cleansing, almost like a toner before any, well, I mean, it is a toner, <laughs> AHA toner, um, before anything else. So this is really good, really effective. Love this stuff. Whoa. Another daily exfoliation uh, can be the Drunk Elephant TLC Frambus Glycolic Night Serum. So this is glycolic acid as opposed to that. So this is glycolic acid as opposed to lactic acid. If you do not have a sensitivity to glycolic acid, this is fantastic. This is the Littles. Isn't it adorable? It comes in obviously a normal size container, but this is what I have on hand to show you guys. So I definitely recommend this. Check this out. This can be used at night. Like I said, after cleansing, um, it's like your night serum before you put on a facial oil or a moisturizer. And one more. Actually, there's two more I want to tell you about, but I don't have one to show you, okay? So this one is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% plus AH, 
HA2%, um, and it can be used in the same way as the Drunk Elephant right after cleansing before moisturizing, okay? This, I've heard, is a dupe for Sunday Riley's Good Gene Serum, which is the other one I want to tell you about that I don't have. I need to get that. I want to tell you this is not a dupe. This is very, this is pretty good. Um, and it is incredibly affordable compared to the $105 Sunday Riley. <laughs> That's a lot of money. But, it's worth it. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's not worth it. It's worth it, okay? Like, it is amazing. It really is good jeans in a bottle. So, this is like, I don't know, like five, seven dollars, and it's, it works pretty good, but it is not the Sunday Riley. So, if you want to splurge, if you want to give it a little, maybe go get a sample from Sephora and try out the Sunday Riley for yourself. But once again, this can be used every single day. And for an exfoliating treatment, I use this twice a week. It is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% Peeling Solution. And it is the coolest red color of life. <gasps> okay, it's, it's running down the bottle. <laughs> okay, anyways, so I'm making a mess over here with my peeling solution. Um, I've heard that this is a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. I've not tried that, so I cannot attest to whether or not it is an actual dupe. All I know is that this is $5, and it works so stinking good that I'm just going to use this. Okay, so like I said, two times a week. Read the instructions because you want to have completely dry skin before you apply this. Um, and you leave it on for no longer than 10 minutes, and you wash it off with lukewarm water. Yes, it will tingle, but that means it's really working. And I have pretty sensitive skin, and this does not irritate it. And it really does work to exfoliate. I love it. I love it. Alright, so after we exfoliate, we want to hydrate, okay? So, I like to apply hyaluronic acid. This is another one from The Ordinary because I'm sorry, The Ordinary is just so stinking affordable, I just can't help but buy it. And their products are pretty stinking good. So, um, this hyaluronic acid is 2% plus B5. Um, basically, hyaluronic acid helps um, to draw moisture to the skin. So attracts water essentially. So I would definitely recommend hyaluronic acid before your moisturizer or facial oil to really help amp up some moisturization going on, okay? So this one is a great one if you are just dipping your toes in. Apply this, like I said before, moisturizing with anything. Then to moisturize, what do I got in here? Haha. <laughs> To moisturize, I personally love a few things, okay? Um, this is an OG product for me, like holy grail. Always have this in my skincare um, cabinet. It is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. I love this stuff so much. I can use it summer, winter, whenever. I can use it on even like burns on my skin. Um, I mean, if you burn yourself ever whatever. Um, I love to use this. This is so good. I have a friend who has oily skin, uh, which is completely opposite of my skin, and she also uses this and loves it. So I feel like this is just like a hero product for everyone. So definitely check this out. You need to moisturize, of course, to have very glowing skin. Okay, if you are an oils girl like me, and I hope you are, because I feel like with whatever skin type you have, that oils are appropriate. There is an oil out there for you, I promise. Okay, but the two that I love, if you didn't know I love this one, I don't know who you are, but you got to check out my blog post below about why I love this so much. But it is the uh, Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. <sighs> This thing is less than $10, and I love it. I let myself get too low on this, ran out, and they were sold out of it for like a half of, like probably a good two weeks, a good two weeks, people, before it came back in stock. So I had to go without it, and my skin was not happy. It was not happy without this. This is fantastic. So when it came back in stock, I bought like five bottles. Well, let's be real. Like, like I said, less than $10, a fantastic oil. I use this at night to hydrate. But if you want to check out why rosehip seed oil is so amazing for any, see, any skin type, <clears throat> any skin type, once again, check out my blog post. I'll have a link for you down below. If you really want to amp up your daytime glow with an oil, this is actually a really affordable one that surprised me because the ingredients are not crap. <laughs> 
So this is the, who's this by? Physicians Formula Organic Wear Bright Booster. It's an oil elixir. Um, I'm a bad blogger. I'm a bad YouTuber right now and I can't tell you all the oils that are in it, but I promise you there's good stuff, so look it up. Um, in fact, there was a review by um, a skincare person that I like on this oil and so I trust her a lot and I'll, I'll, I'll link that, I'll link it, it'll be linked. But this can be applied um, after your normal morning skincare routine and once again, like it says, bright booster, like it will add some glow and I personally find that it, that it works really well under makeup, like it doesn't make everything like a grease stick sliding off and it does give a really pretty glow. So if you want that extra glow to your skin, um, especially you dry girls out there, definitely give this a try. Okay, now we are going on to make that glow happen with some makeup, okay? So, primers. Primers are a really good first step to get that face a glow in. There's two primers that I absolutely love. One is by Becca, and one is this cute little guy from First Aid Beauty. The Becca First Light Priming Filter. Love this stuff. It's so subtle and so good all at the same time. I'm wearing it under my makeup today, and I just love it. Um, I don't really know that Becca does wrong when it comes to like glowy items for the face, so um, definitely give this a try. It is a hefty price tag. I mean, it's not too bad. It's 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 a chunk, but the packaging is fantastic. First of all, it's glass. I mean, it's beautiful. It's purple. It's beautiful. I just like it. I like it a lot. It works to help get the glow. Then my cute little guy who's almost used all up, the Coconut uh, Skin Smoothing Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. This stuff is just so good. I really love using this under the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint because I feel like it's a little too dry for me and a little too almost like matte. Um, so I like to give it a little bit of glow with this, but um, I got this with part of my Sephora points and I'm definitely going to get the big guy because it just gives a beautiful hydration to your skin, first of all, because it is a moisturizer at the same time. It primes and it, get, and it gives a beautiful glow. So check this guy out. Foundations. Okay, these are not new. This is not new news for you for these guys, but I can't lie to you because this is what I use, guys. This is what I use for glowing skin. If I want more of a fuller coverage that can also actually be sheared down, like this foundation could probably do anything. Like I could keep this from on days that I want like, I could keep this on days where I'm wearing like no makeup, where I want a really sheer coverage, this can be sheared down. And if I wanna go like glam wedding makeup, guess what, this can be built up. So this guy can do no wrong for me. And he is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I'm in the shade Fair. I have it on my face today and I love it so much. I love it so much. It also has uh, SPF 50 for UVA and UVB and it just has a beautiful glowy but not like I'm a ridiculous oil slick whatever type of finish it's beautiful glowy natural glowy love this and it can be powdered down if you're oily skin it can be powdered down sorry if you hear uh lay baby in the background he just woke up from his nap and I'm almost done so I'm just gonna let him entertain himself for a minute okay so sorry if you hear him uh, so this guy, once again, not new, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I am in the shade Birch 1.5. I'm almost out, but this guy is so fantastic. It is very emollient, so um, you oily skin girls might not care for it, but I love it. Even in the summertime, I love it. It gives just the amount of coverage, a beautiful hydrating feel, and it's glowy skin. So gotta have it, gotta have it. So my hydrating concealer, glowy concealer of choice, is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I'm in the shade Light. This is a pot concealer that is beautiful, glowy, wonderful. I love it so much. It's not going to cover up all the spots of life. I find that it's perfectly fine for my under eyes, but I just love how natural and beautiful and glowy it makes the skin look. What more can you say um, if you want some good, a good hydrating concealer that gives your face some life, even if you don't want to wear foundation, this is like the one you want to go for. So check it out. So for blush, I have a cream and a powder for you. The cream, no shocker here, is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. This is beautiful, very natural, very skin-like, but so like 
luscious is the word that comes to mind. It just gives a beautiful glow to the face and to the cheeks. I love the color. Beam is my favorite. I really want to get the pink color. To, actually, I want to get them all. Let's be real. I want to get them all, but I want to get the pink color too, just to try it with that like bubble gum, bubble gum poppy pink. Um, but this is like peaches and cream kind of look and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. For a powder blush that is all times glowy. I love the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Blush in Natural Glow. First of all, smells delicious. So, so good. So, so good. It smells like coconut, summertime, everything good in life. But it is a very, like, natural light, um, kind of pinky peach glow um, color. But, like, the glow it gives your skin is so good, but so natural. There's no flex. There's no glitter. Um, it's not overly done. It's just like a lit from within. I know that is so overused, but it's true. It's like this could have been your skin, but you, you made people think it was your skin that was really glowing, but it was actually this. So it's a good trick. Good trick. So I really love this, and I am wearing it on my face today. So let's take back and forth. So let's take the Glowy Skin products home with highlighters. Got a cream for you and a powder. The cream, once again, no surprise, is the Glossier Halo Stick. I have the shade Moonstone. I want to try Quartz. I feel like that would be beautiful too. Moonstone really is just like um, a gloss on the skin because it's, it's clear to me. Some people, I think it comes off as like white if you have like maybe very dark skin it would come off with a little bit of a white cast but for me it comes off as like a clear dewy glossy look on the skin and I love it like literally every day I'm alive I'm wearing this um so good oh also there you can't tell on this one but there's like a high oh we're not trying to put you off either it's a day guys it's a day Anyways, there is like a hydrating stick in the center of these um, that hydrates your skin. So once again, hydrating, glowy, boom, love it. And for a powder highlighter, I love the Essence Pure Nude Be My Highlight. This is so good. I've talked about this before, but hey, gotta be real with you and share the things that work. This is so natural, so beautiful. Um, it looks like nothing in the pan. It actually looks like nothing when you swatch it, but when you put it on your face, ba bam you're glowing and I love it. And it's not like you can see me from space type of highlight. It's like, once again, the lid from within, this is really my skin, but it's not, is this. And it is so good and it is $3. So you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video on how to get glowing skin for the summer and to fake it till you make it if you don't have glowing skin already. Um, but yeah, so check out down below because once again, I'm going to have everything I talked about linked. I'm going to have everywhere you can follow me and blog posts that will help explain some of these skincare items um, in better detail. Remember, confidence starts from within, believing and loving yourself, and then it can transfer outward. So you want to start with um, truly loving who you are on the inside and then it's going to start showing up even in your skin in that glow that you have that truly would be lit from within is how you feel about yourself and it's going to come across every single day so remember to subscribe for confidence style and beauty videos and until next time guys you are loved you are valued and you are worthy bye